Hi, this is Dr. Miller. Um, we are here giving you your post-operative instructions for a lip reduction. And Rory has um, uh, generously offered himself as being a post-operative model. Thank you very much. You're welcome. How, wa how was the week overall? It was, it was easy. Like, it was easy to talk, you know, man, I managed it, you know. Wasn't bad. Okay, excellent. Good. Uh, at Rory had a, a lower lip reduction, and um, what what uh, the the result is to have the incision line more towards the inside of the mouth, so you don't see anything on the outside. And then as he opens his mouth, you're going to see this kind of debris that accumulates right here, um, and the incision line is from here all the way to over here. So this is just a little debris that has accumulated and it's debris that can be easily removed, but I don't want you picking at it. The, the right way to do it, and all that is, is the suture line that has accumulated some of that debris. Um, and so here's how, we, how uh, uh, I want you to take care of it. You'll have um, a hydrogen peroxide okay and the hydrogen peroxide can either at first if it's really really tender at first you can just take a q-tip and make sure it's a really really moist i mean keep it in the the hydrogen peroxide for quite some time and then you can simply take it out okay and then you put it on here now i'm talking about in the first couple of days just put your head down a little bit so that it can take, and open your mouth just a bit. Good. And so you can just put it on here. This is in, in the beginning days, you just may want to do this and let the hydrogen peroxide itself just sort of eat away. Uh, it'll bubble up and, and all of this debris will dissolve by itself. As the days progress on day three, maybe day four, day five, if you're feeling comfortable, you can take the peroxide with a, um, a gauze that we'll provide you, we'll provide you with, and immerse it so that you, 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 you make it so that the gauze is very, very moist, very wet. And then you just lay this on top of the lower lip, and you can close your mouth, and just let it sit like that for a little bit of time. Uh, watch some TV, uh, email, um, your wife may be happy because you're finally not talking, you know? I mean, who knows exactly? Uh, but just let that sit again, and, and the peroxide acts like a bubble, acts like this little uh, scrubbing bubbles, you know? I don't even know if they sell that anymore, you know, the scrubbing bubbles under the sink? Yeah, and it bubbles away, eats away. And, um, and that's exactly what, what this is gonna do. And so it, it, when you're done with that, you can take it off now, okay? And you can pat it dry a little bit. He was able to get a little bit more of the debris off. Okay, and now we're going to cover it with aquaphor. Rado, simple aquaphor. Aquaphor on a gauze. Take a Q-tip and we're going to put it gently right on. See, I'm sort of dabbing it, but I'm not, I'm not pulling across the incision line. I'm just dabbing it. And the... Um, the main criteria here is discomfort. If whatever you're doing is uncomfortable, then do it more comfortably. Um, so it's not a matter of am I doing it right or wrong. If, it, if it's uncomfortable, if it hurts, then you're doing it wrong. It should be so that it, um, it doesn't cause you any significant discomfort as defined by it's, 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 it's hurting you. Um, it's gonna obviously be a little tender so in, in sort of putting it directly on the incision line here, okay, good, uh, you can close your mouth, and uh, you'll see now that it's on the incision line, but it's also on the, the front lip. And you don't need it to be that way. And so once, once you put it on and you close your mouth and you open up again, uh, this, this ointment has gotten on the undersurface of his upper lip. So every time he closes, it'll be reinforced and so now with your lip clo mouth closed, if I just wipe this away, there's no, there's no aquaphor on the outside of the mouth, and yet it is exactly where we want it to be on the incision line on the lower lip or on the upper lip as the case may be uh, until such time as you do this again later in the day. So you can do it maybe two or three times a day. Um, as you know, the sutures will dissolve. They're going to start dissolving rather rapidly now. It's been seven days, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and on behalf of all the other observers, one is, do you have any questions that, that they may have or that you may have?
pretty straightforward, easy procedure, painless, um, easy recovery, and uh, came in awesome. Oh, thank you. Did you did you take any um, medications when when we did the procedure? Did you take any anything to s help sedate or no? no did you go straight pain, local? No, I just added a little. Uh, uh, added a little was just fine for oh, the pain. Yeah, okay. There, but, uh, no, I mean during uh, the procedure. Yeah, do you it was remember? IV sedation. It was, oh, it was yeah. IV sedation. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I remember we did that. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it doesn't have to be IV sedation. It can be uh, uh, straight where I inject the lower lip. Most people don't do it that way. Most people do it where I give them some form of relaxation, whether it's Valium or mm -hmm. whether or not it's Percocet or something, uh, because as 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 confident as patients are, and and that they're, they're don't worry about it, doc. Do it under local. For some reason, whenever everybody comes that day, they get re they're really anxious and they're happy that they have the the sedating yeah. component to it. Easier. Yeah. Excellent. Good. So you should look absolutely fantastic. The swelling's only going to go down and down, particularly in the lower lip, mm -hmm. because swelling goes down here. Yeah. And uh, the the last component of your recovery would be something I call lymphatic massage. And so lymphatic massage is simply making sure that the lymphatic channels, which are removing the swelling, uh, stay open. And they can clog and, and close really easily, but you can also open them very easily simply by uh, starting below. Yeah. And, and in doing this, exactly, you're, you're sort of priming it, yeah. if you will. So now these are up, these are working. Then you go up here, these are now working. And then you come up to your lower lip area and this is now working and if you just do that believe it or not it really helps if you if you just do this well these are all clogged here so it's not going to go anywhere yeah. not in your case but if you do have an upper lip surgery as well that's a little trickier because just think of gravity gravity is going to work down like this but in the upper lip it stops right here mm. right yeah. so what do you do for that and the answer is do the same thing start lower come up here, come up here, and then for the upper lip, you gently go from here, and you go around like that. And so you're milking the swelling from here around. Okay, um, how often, you, 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 can, you can do it four, five, six, seven times a day. Don't do it so much that you're um, um, irritating your skin, uh, but I would definitely want you to do it three times a day or so. Um, you can use ointment, I'm sorry, um, lotion, mm -hmm. so that you're comfortable yeah. and it feels good, uh, or you can just do it like this. Um, maybe for five minutes or so should do the trick. Okay? okay? All right, awesome. Terrific, man. Thank Thanks. You.